Since the ransomware attack on the city last month, the Columbus Fire Department able to deliver uninterrupted service without delay, despite unexpected obstacles involving the data breach. This has really exacerbated a lot of our challenges, uh, down to the apps we use uh, and even the computers in our trucks as we're trying to get information as we respond. ABC6 on your side, discovering the fire department, not the only city agency, impacted by the actions of overseas hackers who last month stole more than a quarter of a million files from city servers. Obtaining online police reports and filing incident reports online, unavailable right now, until CPD says issues are resolved. You can still report an incident by calling the CPD telephone report unit at 614-645-4717. And if you're heading here to the city's impound lot to pick up your towed car or pay for a permit or a violation, make sure you bring cash, because cards cannot be accepted right now. Megan Atwood glad she knew that before heading to the impound lot to buy a parking permit. My roommate told me ahead of time, so we were prepared for it. Otherwise, it would have kind of sucked coming all the way down here and then having to get cash. Impound service clerks tell me payments still able to be made online. Shortly after the cyber attack, we told you how people were having trouble reporting incidents to 311. The Department of Neighborhoods telling me pretty much everything back to normal. The only glitch? The system still having issues emailing out service request updates. Until that's ironed out, people can check their accounts online or call for updates. We've learned city employees also still having connection issues related to their emails. Cyber snafus Megan never imagined would touch her life. I didn't realize it would have affected so much. On your side, Steve Levine, ABC6 News.